common denominators. 7 twelfths and 3 twelfths have a common denominator. Their denominators are the same, they are both 12. 7 ninths and 3 eighteenths do not have a common denominator. Their denominators are different. Four fifths plus one fifteenth, five twelfths minus one eighth, and comparing or ordering fractions all have one thing in common. You can't work them out until all the fractions have been given a common denominator. We find common denominators by using the lowest common multiple. Let's recap lowest common multiple by using an example. What is the lowest common multiple of six and seven? We start by finding the multiples of 6 by going through the 6 times table. And then do the same for 7. Then we scan both sets of numbers for the lowest number in both lists. In this case it's 42. So the lowest common multiple of 6 and 7 is 42. Let's find a common denominator for 1 quarter, 1 third and 1 sixth. We start by finding multiples of 4. Start at 4 and go up in the 4 times table. You have to decide where to stop and you probably don't need to go further than the first 5 to 10 multiples. Then we do the same for 3 and then for 6. Now we need to find the lowest common multiple, the smallest number that is common to all three lists. And here that's 12. Now we multiply the numerator and the denominator of each fraction to give the denominator a value of 12. We have to multiply the numerator and the denominator to keep the value of each fraction unchanged for them to be equivalent to the originals. So the first denominator is 4. What does 4 need to be multiplied by to make 12? 3. So we multiply both the numerator and the denominator of a quarter by 3. The next denominator is 3. What does that have to be multiplied by to make 12? 4. So we multiply the numerator and the denominator of a third by four. And for a sixth, we need to multiply by two to make 12. Now all our fractions have a denominator of 12. They have a common denominator. Thank you for watching.